hello friends in this video i am going to show you how to launch an harness in a pop up window okay so for example okay i have a, this is the section uh, when i click on just uh, action refresh just click on go this is my just one section in this section i have configured one button here and not only this button if any user click on link or a button or checkbox whatever you want okay action item when the user click on this button i want to load one harness in a pop up i want to load one harness in a pop up so for this go to the section here go to the actions here there is an action called it as there is an action called it as a harness launch harness just click on this one here you want to load a harness in a pop up window or a current replace current but for example whatever the work object or whatever the current place or a current section where you are in if you want to replace with current or if you want to load a harness or launch a harness in a new pop up window or if you want to create or if you want to load this harness as a new document new document or ajax container we have a one uh, we have a one layout call it as a ajax container you can you can include that ajax container in your section in your section and you can load the harness into that ajax container as well okay now what i am going to do i want to load my harness in a pop up window now as usually if you want to use a different page context you can give it or else by default current page context which is current work insurance claim class now my harness name is i have already created a one harness ins harness just assuming ins harness open this harness this harness contains a one screen layout or if you want you can change the layout i am just what i am doing is uh, okay for your purpose what i am doing i am going to create a new harness okay uh, sample click on create new click on create and open now this harness by default one screen layout you can change the layout uh, with including header board left navigation right navigation etc but here i just want to content only right i selected content just submit now here you can drag a section here you can drag one embedded section now by default here also the current page context are using the data page clipboard page or page defined by property section by a name current page context means the current class which is nothing but a primary page section by a name you can give it whatever the section you want i am just selecting work object information is the ovtb section just uh, work object confirmation work object confirmation this is one sample section just click on submit save you can you can load whatever the section you want okay now come back here okay now the harness name is sample read only mode yes or no no i don't want to be in a read only mode and window name is uh, just claim window you can give it whatever the name you want and window height uh, 600 window width 600 and if you want to call any data transform or activity to initialize the data which you want to use it in a uh, section harness harness section you can call one data transform or activity your wish on a leave it this check box as it is and uh, conditional basis on a conditional basis uh, if you want to load this harness you can add a condition you can add a condition based on the okay dot property value equal to etc etc on a conditional basis if you want to load this harness you can add a condition just click on submit save now uh, just refresh this actions refresh click on go click on button now the harness is loading in a pop up window that's it okay now if you want you can just change it options also here go back actions harness here pop up window right replace current 
रिप्लेस करंट सबमिट सेव actions refresh click on go now see when i click on this button replace current see what is happening see this is the replace current now like this uh, if you want you can include a new document as well if you want you can add a new document or ajax container as well for example now what i am going to do is I just want to add a one Ajax container here. See, there is an option called it as a Ajax container. I am uh, embedding this Ajax container. Type is default. By default, we have a three types: default, territory, and secondary. I am using the default, and the maximum number of documents here is eight. Okay, default view. Okay, by default, by default, I want to load one section. By default. i want to load one section into this ajax container click on okay okay just click on save so now launch the section now launch the section here action refresh click on go by default now i am loading one ajax container see this is by default one ajax container and it is my work list it is my work list now i want to replace i want to replace the data when i click on this button i want to replace the data into this ajax container now go back here on the button action harness now the replace instead of pop up i am selecting ajax container container name is a default by default default container just click on submit you no need to mention the tab name as well okay i think okay just mention the tab name okay test click on submit save now just to refresh this action refresh click on go now by default as usually here right my work list when i click on this button when i click on this button actually i have to replace that uh, content with ajax container because what i have given <coughs> target ajax container and type is tar default tab name is assuming work list but why it is not replacing let's see save action refresh click on go so it is not replacing it is by default it is not saving or what already i have given the ajax container right so i want to load the ajax container replacing what's happening why it is not replacing the ajax container always display harness from the server just select this check box action refresh
Flash. This is my hardness and this is my capture a claim. Here I am Ajax container. Uh, this is my this is my Ajax container. I just want to see why it is it's not replacing inside the Ajax container. Um, section by a name, use current page context, maximum number of documents, show tabs. Show tabs, just click on save because it is asking the tab name, right? Action, refresh. Click on go. Okay, that means maximum number of documents eight, right? If you want to see the tabs, that's why it is showing as a show tabs. That is the purpose so that, so that you can switch from one document to another document. I mean, okay, somehow it is not working properly. Okay, but uh, this is the mechanism uh, to show a harness or I mean, in a pop-up window or replace current as a new document as well as Ajax container because it's not working properly it should re it should replace the Ajax container so you can same thing practice in the uh, user portal or manager portal as well thank you